Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Carlson's Lab. Today I'm going to give you a peek into the future. We're going to take a look at some future projects that are coming up here and that will very soon be on the bench in between the Grand Receiver Restoration Series. So lots of projects coming, and these are just some of the projects that are going to end up on the bench. You'll notice that the projects I'm about to show you have never been done on this channel before. You'll see what I mean here in just a moment. So this is somewhat of a Q&A, and this is an answer to one of the questions here on the channel. So what I do is I look through my videos and find a random question and address it. And this question is from John, and John writes, of course this falls in line with what we're doing here. John writes, Paul, what projects do you have outside the Grand Receiver Restoration Series, and are you going to ever tackle any type of a television or anything like that on the channel? Well, John, you're going to see a lot today. I'm going to show you some very interesting things and uh, some very interesting projects lined up. Some of the projects that I'm going to tell you about are not even here. They're still at the old lab. So, in between the Grand Receiver Restoration Series, what you see here, this radio and this radio over here, I will spice these projects in once one of the Grand Receiver Restoration radios is done. I'll put a few other projects in and then start in on another radio receiver and work my way through that and then put another project and kind of, you know, spice things in there. So that way we have new electronic stuff and old electronic stuff and, and, and basically the whole ball of wax, I guess you could say. So we'll have that. These things were, actually, no, they weren't. They weren't full of wax capacitors. But anyways, the whole ball of wax, I guess it kind of falls in line with old radios, right? So this thing here is, uh, I would say, nothing short of incredible. I wasn't expecting this CR88 to be so incredibly bad. I was expecting to breeze through it. And the amount of time that that radio receiver is taking to get done is just absolutely amazing. You know how long it's been since I've last posted a video. And that's because I've been in this thing and I've been making videos up to this point on this thing. So this is just spiced in here just to give you a sneak peek and just to say hi and let you know what's coming up in the very near future. So I will have another episode on this very, very soon and you'll probably see another AR-88 besides this one in here as well very quickly as being used for parts. So lots and lots of stuff happening here. But anyways, let's go take a look at some of these other projects that are coming up very, very soon. I'm excited about these things because I've never done one of these things on the channel before, so you'll get to see. Let's go take a look. All right, out here in the shop, here are some of the, the projects that I have on the way. So I get so many questions about television, so I'm going to have to do one soon. So I've got this really neat Electra home I picked up not too long ago. It's in very, very nice condition. Yeah, it needs a, a little bit of work aesthetically, but for the most part, it is really, really nice. So the person that owned this way back when, I just mentioned that they watched some of the original airing of the Beatles on this. So I forget the exact story, but when she told it to me, it was, was you know, pretty significant. So they've had this television since brand new. And it's been very well taken care of. As you can see, the cabinetry on this is, is very nice. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very much looking forward to getting this working. This is a neat, neat little Atwater Kent radio here as well. This is down here that you see is a Stromberg Carlson radio. So it's a, a really, I don't know, cute looking little radio. I don't know if this cable is going to be long enough. I think it's kind of hanging underneath the unit here. So it's kind of a two-part thing. Let's see here. And get this closer to the lens so that you can see it. Neat looking little Stromberg Carlson radio. That's about as wide as it opens and the lighting isn't all that great. So this will be something that we're going to look at here. Make sure that doesn't come down. That thing is so incredibly heavy it's not funny. It's basically just an amplifier with a speaker and it is heavy. So I have a replacement speaker for it. Uh, the, um, the actual surround on this speaker is not in very good condition. So I have an original Stromberg Carlson replacement speaker for this thing. So that should, be, uh, that should be a very neat project. I can't believe how heavy this thing is. 
big, big iron in the bottom of it for not very much power, but I bet you it does sound fantastic when this thing is all hooked together. So that is neat. I have another neat television back here that's in really, really rough condition. So here, just pardon the camera movement. I'll move this up and uh, get you over here. I don't know if you can see that TV back there. That is in very, very rough condition. In the back side, it's, um, yeah, I'll save the surprises for then. So that should be, I think that's gonna most likely be like a resurrection video. I don't know if I'm gonna go and really get into uh, a restoration on that. We'll see how that goes, and I'll also get your feedback on that as well. It's a neat old Marconi, so um, it, um, it's rough inside. It's really, really rough. So give me just a moment here. I'll, uh, I'll move the camera and I'll show you some other cabinets. I think I've shown you this one back here uh, before. It uh, has a, a round CRT in it and it has an FM radio. So that is very, very neat, very, very neat RCA cabinet. And I have the, um, I think I have the, the parts and pieces on the cabinet behind, which is another television. So I'll move the camera here and um, we'll take a quick look at that. Here's a closer look at that television. That will be a resurrection. That should be a lot of fun. It's very rough inside. Down here is that FM radio and uh, it has a round CRT type television inside it. The uh, chassis is right over here. So this was a barn find. I, I think I showed this when I first moved into the shop. And um, this is, yeah, it was very, very rough. It was found in a barn. There's a horrible mouse nest under this chassis here that I had to clean out before I even moved it. It was really, really bad. So yeah, this one here is gonna be quite the, quite the job as well to do. So I have the CRT for this television here down in there where it's nice and safe. I don't think you can see that there. So yeah, another, another big restoration job. And then there's this Fleetwood here. It's in really nice condition. This has an AM FM radio as well on the other side there. So this one here should be a lot of fun to get going. It's complete. And um, just a bunch of scratches on the upper portion of the cabinet here. But other than that, it's, uh, it's in very, very nice condition. So that should be a lot of fun. So some televisions here to, to work on, which should be a lot of fun. Pardon the noise in the background, the, uh, the shop heater came on. It's uh, pretty chilly out here right now, as you can see, I'm in my jacket, so. So, lots of great projects. By the way, this is uh, the tube collection. Whenever you see me looking for tubes for some of the receivers I'm working on, like that CR88, this is where I'm looking for them. There's tubes all the way through here, all down through here. I don't know if I can uh, give you a better view of this. So, tubes all over the place here. And there's still quite a few at the old lab as well. So lots and lots of tubes, CRTs in here and down in here and transmitting tubes right here. So lots and lots of great stuff. So that's what keeps the restorations coming because if you don't have vacuum tube stock, it's awfully hard to keep vacuum tube radios running. So lots and lots of stock right there. Many projects out here. There's many more projects over that way and I don't want to uh, you know, spoil the surprise. Uh, many console radios over there that are gonna come in and be restored. Some of them are very rare. And um, yeah, some of them are very, very neat looking. Got really nice looking dials on them. So that will be coming in the very near future here as well. So lots of neat projects to share with all of you. And I hope you're uh, gonna enjoy the, uh, enjoy the ride with me. So it should be lots of fun to go through all of these projects. And uh, you can see the uh, tail end of many of the oscilloscopes over there. So lots and lots of tech scopes as well. If you're enjoying the videos here at Mr. Carlson's lab, you can let me know by giving me a big thumbs up and hang around. There'll be many more videos coming in the very near future. So these videos will involve modern electronic devices and antique electronic devices alike. So there'll be a lot of repair videos, restoration videos, circuitry design videos, troubleshooting videos, component knowledge videos, 
and even some teardown videos here at Mr. Carlson's lab. So if you're all about electronics, like I'm all about electronics, you're definitely going to want to subscribe and tap that bell symbol. That way you'll be notified as soon as I post a brand new video here on YouTube. There are some other great electronics YouTubers out there that you may not know about. Do you know about B. Anderson TV? He's a great channel. He restores very collectible televisions and radios and he does a great job and he's very thorough. You might want to check out his channel as well. I'll put the link to his channel just below the video's description under the show more tab. So if you click on the show more tab, it'll expand the description and the link to his channel will be right there. You can click on it and it'll take you directly to B. Anderson TV's channel. Great content, great guy to watch and in my spare time, I watch his channel as well. That's what I do when I relax. So great channel to watch. Another great electronic YouTuber channel that you may not know about and you may know about is Shango 066. I've mentioned him before. He's got a great sense of humor. He does a lot of television restorations, repairs and resurrections. He takes some televisions that are pretty far gone and brings them back to life again. He's a great guy to watch and again he's got a great sense of humor. You definitely want to check him out. Again, the link to his channel will be right below the video's description under the show more tab. Click on that and it'll take you directly right there. If you like these channels, don't forget to subscribe to them. It's very, very important to let the channel know that you enjoy their content. By subscribing, you're showing that support to these channels. We're kind of a niche small community that that really, I guess you could say, dives deep into repairing antiques, doing the job correctly, and you know, spending the time to get the job done right. So there aren't many electronics YouTube channels out there that you know, really specialize in this type of stuff. So if you enjoy the content, subscribing and tapping that bell symbol on any of these channels is so incredibly important. A lot of YouTubers are kind of shy to ask for subscriptions and to tap that bell symbol. And you know, I can understand that. But again, it's so very important. So if you enjoy the content, definitely do that. That really, really helps out. If you're interested in taking your electronics knowledge to the next level and learning electronics in a very different and effective way and gaining access to many of my personal electronic inventions and designs, many of which you've seen on this channel multiple times if you've been here, you're definitely going to want to check out my ongoing electronics course on Patreon. There are a lot of people there. It has a great community section. You can even share your own personal designs and, and all of your uh, projects there in the community section. You can show them off or you can even ask questions to other community members if you have any issues. Great place to be. Everybody is very, very friendly. Very, very good place. And of course, I'm sharing my electronics knowledge there as well. There's 165 entries there right now, so close to 165 videos on Patreon, which I've entered, again, with all my inventions and designs as well. Definitely check it out. I'll put the link, again, below the video's description under the Show More tab. Click the link and it'll take you right there. Oh, and I'll also pin the link at the top of the comments section. So if you click on that link, whichever one's easier to find, you take you right there. All right, until next time, take care. Bye for now.